So again, both teams well represented in terms of you know the number of fans inside the Philo Eleco Center. In the meantime, we told you it was a low scoring affair. Third quarter not and only a total of 24 points after each team scoring a 20-point quarter in the first two. First quarter, perpetual 22. Second quarter, San Pedro 20. 10 and 14 lang pagdating sa third quarter natin. Alright, this will begin the fourth and final quarter of this game. You guys are joined by Martin Aviera, Big Bo Belga in this coverage alongside Julia Ong and Lexi Gonzalez as our courtside reporters today miss from San Beda perpetual again looking to equalize against the Red Lions in season 99 and they've had chances pero ito naagaw ni Eman Tagle the Red Lions have they've had a lot of opportunities to overtake and Cortez will fully grasp this opportunity he scores a three-pointer Ayun naman doon. Kanina pa nila inahanap yung lead na yun. Hindi sila nagiging successful in ilang instances. Pero sabi ni Jacob, ako na nga. 48-47, only the third lead change in this game. Paraguma. Abis. Uy, naubusan ang oras sa perpetual. Napasobra yung dribbling exhibition ni Paraguma at ni Abis on one side. You need to... Swing the ball from one side to the other side. Ito yung three-point attempt ni Jacob Cortez. Mapapakagat labi. Ayun, oh. ang sabi ng tropa yeah. doon. Yeah. Successful na yes. tayo, pare. Yes. <laughs> kanina ko pa hinihingi yan. <laughs> yung hinayang niya. Oo, kanina Gra hinayang na hinayang siya kay Kunta, kay Andrada, tsaka kay Gonzalez. Eh, pero kay Jacob. You see Ito the reaction? Naman. Wala. Para kay Cortez. Mm -hmm. Sayang. That was Puno trying to collect the rebound but on the top oh, tumama meron, kay Kuntapay. Merong collision si Kuntapay tsaka si Puno doon. Ito sulipin natin. On Buhan the rebound. Oo. Oh, Buha yeah. na naman sana ni Kuntapay or ni Puno. Eh. Kaya lang nagkapanggaan silang dalawa. Friendly fire. Oh. Pero Tami Kuntapay will stay in the game. He's okay. Teka. Ayan. Also, Jomel Puno stays. A minute and a half gone. Ito po sa ating fourth and final quarter. Perpetual. Let it by as many as nine points in the first half. San Beda. Pinakamalaki nilang abante. Apat na puntos. Rivers. Hindi na naman nakakuha ng foul. Sinitura. Oh, kanina pa siya nang umihingi ng foul. Eh. Pero, ay, saya. The pass was too wide oh. to the right for Eman Tagle. Good intention sana, kaya lang, ang layo, pali, ang layo ni Jacob. Yeah. Good intention para dito kay Tagli, kaya lang, medyo malayo pa si Jacob. There's Jun Roque now with 15 points in this one. Pagaran, pull-up jumper, draws air. Uy, Wala na naman. Wow. Oh, sorry, Bro. miss right there. Kung, si, kung last game si Jun Roque ang medyo alat, uh -huh. in this ball game it was ni Tura. Ayun na naman. Oh, but again, Turn San Beda turns it over. Wow, both teams with 13 turnovers apiece. Cyrus Nitura in this game, only 2 out of 8 from the field. Oh, and sa first up, ayun, ha? yung mga oh. ano ni Nitura na yun. Ha? That's right. Roque for 3. Hits the back iron. Ayan, rare yan para sa perpetual, early offense. Oo, oh, 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 oh. bibihira yung mga ganun. Ito lang talaga, kanina pa niya sinusubukan ni Jun Roque. Kasi nga, masama ti, ano nila sa labas eh. Yeah. Siya lang talaga yung namubukot tangin, may tapang, uh -huh. may lakas na loob na tumira sa labas. Kanina pa. Yes, Even mean. si Jello Rason, he was, at, he was taking his shot. Yeah. Puro mga one dribble pull up. Yung one make from three point range ng perpetual nang galing dito kay Jun Roque. He is one out of five from long distance. Meantime, San Beda couldn't manufacture some points. Mananatili sa kanila ang bola dito. With 7.20 to go. Mm -hmm. Good defense doon on that side by Mark Denver Omega. Hindi niya pinawal itong si Jacob Cortez. Uh, yeah. Tami kong tapay. Jacob Cortez. Cortez driving left, stopping. Too strong off the glass as the shot clock was winding down. 
Jun Roque. They go to Cyrus. Oh, that's a foul. Oh. Mula dun sa handoff nito ni Jun Roque. Oo, uh -huh. medyo napalakas yung kanyang screen doon kay Cyrus ni Tura. Hini-screen na niya si Jacob. Uh -huh. yeah. Ayun. After giving up the basketball, sinalubong eh. <laughs> Talagang walang ligtas si Jacob doon eh. Uh -huh. Inabo talaga eh. So, balik ang bola. And both teams have been erratic to begin the fourth quarter. Okay, let's hear it first from San Beda's side. Ito, importanteng update to mula kay Julia Ong. Julia. Tatlong paalala lamang para sa quarter na ito. Una, take care of the ball. Pangalawa, be more aggressive. At pangatlo, level up our defense. Pwede naman daw mag-relax, pero hindi, hindi pwede makontento. Simula pa lang, dikit na ang laban. Sino kaya ang uuwing relax mamaya at kontento? Abangan natin yan sa ilang saglit na lamang, Martin and Bo. Maraming salamat. Julia Ong, I would like to emphasize the first instruction. Take care of the basketball. Actually, both teams naman nagto turnover dito sa fourth quarter natin. San Beda with four turnovers to begin the fourth period. Perpetual with six turnovers here. But again, we'll wait and see if those instructions will be followed. Coach Mike talking to our officials on the last touch. No holding sequence. So we will check this one out again. Uy! Oh. Kaya nagagalit Kaya si Coach Mike. He has a reason. And it happens in front of their beds. Kaya yeah. medyo... <laughs> Kaya nag-contest agad sila. Ito. Oh. Ooh, from that angle. Medyo natakpan yung referee natin. Pero oh. as you can see, pag-dive ni Andrada, siya yung last... Parang kumbaga... Final touch on that one. Oo. Narinig nyo sa reaction ng Oo, nung mga, fans ng Perpetual. Yung mga taga Las Piñas, Oo. galit na galit. Diba? Ayon ang binyayin namin dito. Kailangan tama yung tawag. Oo. Eh. Okay. Hindi pwede yan. Nagbakay kami ng Skyway. Ayun. Tama. Tama. Baka nanonood din dito yung nagdadrive kanina sa Perpetual. Alam nila yan. Oo. Okay. Our three officials here. FIBA International Referee number 68. That is Toti Celeste with... Francis Bello, national referee, number 55. Armin Gomez wearing uniform number 6, our third official. They're verifying this call. We'll see whose possession it will be. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, yun yung... Ang lapit, teka. Hindi ako makadeside. Okay, the initial touch, pero, yeah, you can... Nasa ilalim si Yuki yun eh. Looked like it was... It was um, Yuki yun. Yeah, Pero okay. siyempre, hindi natin alam kung ano ang nakikita ng ating mga referee doon. Kaya sila natatagalan dahil medyo crucial. Uh -huh. Crucial itong ano natin. Ang sisilipin nila dito, yung direction ng bola. Oo, oh, kung sa pabunta. Oh, uh -huh. Kasi if at change medyo. direction, last touch against oh. Yuki. So... They're gonna give it to... Binigay nila eh sa perpetual yung goal. Yun. Uh, successful yung challenge si Coach successful. Mike. Kaya uh -huh. nagagalit si Coach Mike dahil nga nangyari sa harap ng bench nila eh. Yeah. Okay. So it's gonna be perpetual basketball of a successful challenge. Neto ni Coach Mike Sagigit. Good use of the challenge in the fourth quarter. Uh -huh. Where everything is crucial, Big Bo? Oh, kasi bali mo, one point lang to. If you make a basket on this side, lamang na naman kayo. Yeah. If you if you make a three-point shot, lamang kayo ng dalawa, di ba? So every possession counts on this one. Yeah. Perpetual still scoreless though. Here in the fourth frame. Uy! It stays Stay with the well. Altas. With 12 kanina seconds pa ni, to work with. Kanina pa nila pinipilit yung dribble handle na yung kay Nitura and aatakehin niya pa galing sa ibabaw. Okay. Sabi ni Coach Yuri, sabi ng mga players niya, huwag daw review. Huwag, huwag muna, huwag muna, Coach. Oh, sayang. <laughs> sayang. <laughs> sayang. Sayang yung review eh. Okay, so it sticks with the Altas. Razon as the trigger man. They go outside to Cyrus who will set the table for them. Jello Razon off the screen. Oy! Extra pass sana. Uh -huh. Pinagkaamuyan si Razon at Omega. Okay, okay. Paribonda si Omega kasi alam niya ititira na, ititira na ni Jello Razon. Libre libre. Eh no, wala ka ng tao kaya lang. Ayun na. 
Para rebound na si Mark Den, pero Omega, sayang yung possession na yun. Maganda pa naman sana. A missed decision from Jello Razon. One of the rare times you'll see him pass up on an open shot. Ito na naman. Turnover na naman para dito sa mga... Cyrus! Uy! Sina ba yan? Follow up! Ayaw. And that's a clean up for Mark Denver Omega. Uh -huh. 10 points talagang, for MDO. Oh, medyo talagang struggle itong si Cyrus Itura dito. Pinipilit niya yung offense niya pero hindi talaga nahuhulog yung bola para sa kanya. A double-double now for Mark Denver Omega. 10 points and 10 rebounds. Jacob will attack. Finding Andrada. Pump fake. Oh! Denied by Roque. On the help. And Puno steps outside. Medyo nagwawala na naman si Coach Mike Dott kung hindi tinawagan ng referee natin yun. Dahil sa harap na harap niya, nangyari yung insidente yun. Yeah. Kaya kung may pito siya doon, siya na yung pumito. <laughs> Tama. Tama. Diba? Nasa harap niya eh. Kaya talagang... Next game, magdadala na yan. Pito. <laughs> Fourth quarter field goes natin. Both teams struggling from the field. One out of seven each. Nitura falls down. Roque uh, on the retrieval. Hindi mo masasabing assist ni Nitura dahil nagpambul na yun eh. Nabitawan niya na. Kaya lang, right place, right time para dito kay June Roque. 17 to lead away for Perpetual. June Roque. AJ Royo. Cortez for three. Kapo! Equalizer from Jacob Cortez. Uh -huh. He's got 20. 50% from the field as well. And ito na yung ninth deadlock natin para sa ball game natin. That's how close this ball game is. Ito. MDO. Roque puts it on the floor. Pull up. Jumper. Got it! Big shot after big shot in the fourth frame. June Roque with four straight for Perpetual. And speaking of the Altas, let's go over to their side. Dali lang. Pinilit. Ipayosing. Let's go over to their side. They have the possession here. Let's talk to Lexi Gonzalez. Lexi. Ito na nga. Everyone is heated up at ang laban ay dikit na dikit pa rin. Pero dahil labangkit ni Cyrus Nitura kanina na strength ng kukulang nila ang takbuhan. Gusto itong gamitin ni Coach Mike. Sabi niya, and I quote, once makakuha tayo ng bola, takbuhan na natin. He also wants his players to execute good defense and no more turnovers. Ang sigaw ng Altas, walang bibitaw sa atin na to. Martin and Bo. Maraming salamat, Lexi. Well, there. Close to it. They force the turnover. You talked about defense. Locking down San Beda. They force another turnover on the Red Lions here. For the Red Lions, that is turnover number 15. And the Perpetual Altas looking good. The question is, can they maintain? Oh. This is almost the same same scenario, scenario no? First same meeting nila. Oh. No? Same scenario, no? First meeting nila. We ended at 62 to 60 in their first round encounter. We're at 53 to 51. Actually, they had the good intention dun sa mga atake nitong San Beta. Eh. Kaya yeah. lang hindi na sasalo ng big man nila yeah. dun sa lab pass. Ito si Razon. Jello. Pagaran for three. Foul! By Yukien Andrada. Uh -huh. Wow. And if you were San Beta, you know na it was like Hira, hindi pa nakakashoot itong perpetual sa oh. Why do you need to challenge that hard? Uh -huh. yun, yung yeah. yun yung naging problema ni Andrada doon. Nasobrahan siya sa challenge. And you were committing yeah. a foul. You actually have diba? a great point there, Big Bo. Kasi wala, ano, isa pa lang eh. Uh -huh. Isa pa lang, one out of nine. One out of nine. And now, diba? this will mean three free throws uh -huh. for perpetual. A chance to extend the lead and make it a two-possession game. If he makes at least one of the next two, Chris Pagaran, those are his numbers. Slow start for him. But he's coming into form at the right time for the Altas today. After a 21-point career high para yeah. dito kay Pagaran, medyo tahimik siya dito sa ballgame natin. Pero yun nga, the confidence that he has 3 out of 3 uh -huh. para sa kanya doon. To make it a 5 point lead para dito sa mga taga Las Piñas base. Yeah. Especially Altas. in clutch moments. Chris Pagaran, maaasahan talaga. Jacob Cortez picked up his dribble. Yukien 
controls AJ. Muntik na yung Ooh. sabi na doon. Yeah. <laughs> Medyo napapabuntong hindi nga ka doon. <laughs> They go to Andrada. Mouse in the house again. Here's the help. Oh. That's a foul on MDO. His fourth foul of the game. Uh -huh. Pero... A decent, ano po, decent ball game para dito kay Mark Denver. Oh, he, already, double -double. He, he already played 25 minutes. Yeah. The usual, the usual playing time that he has, 19, 20. Pero ngayon, he already played 25. So, na-pace niya yung sarili oh, niya. Oo, oh, na-manage ano niya, na niya yung foul niya. At malayo pa sa penalty, the perfect one. Payosing of the inbound here. A lot of work with for James Payosing. Backing down, Payosing flips it up. Wala! Rebound for UK. Kanta nung hanap! Wala pa rin ito para mga Payosing! Tumama huli kay Pagaran. Tumama kay Pagaran. Oo, oh, nung tapik ni... <laughs> if you're a San Beda fan, you gotta be stressed right now. <laughs> Ang dami from, from close range, ano? Tutukan yung mga tira na. Kaya alam, malakas eh. Malakas eh. Okay, Ito, binalik na naman si Puno para dito kay Payosin. Ang nagiging ano, surprising dito para kay Coach Yu. Yeah. Hindi niya ginagamit si Jumel Puno sa number 4 spot. Uh -huh. Diba? Para pwede niyang pagsabayin itong si Payosin tsaka si Puno. That's right. Diba? Dalawang atleti kami yan. Oo. This is still sticking with these two bigs. Tapos three, three, three spot niya si Payosin tsaka si Puno. Yeah. Yun yung, yun yung, yun yung, yun para sa akin. Pwede, no? Diba? Yeah. Kasi pwede maging for itong si Puno eh. Yeah. General Ozon with space. General yeah, Ozon knocks it down. Uh -huh. Perpetual pulls ahead by 7. Uh -huh. 58. 51 timeout coach Yuri Escueta Basketball heroes are made every year, and the NCAA always gives rise to new heroes of the game. In fact, the NCAA has produced its share of basketball legends and modern-day basketball heroes. At ngayong nag-umpisa na ang NCAA Season 99, GMA Sports is honored to feature 10 new heroes na dapat abangan ng lahat ng basketball fans. Una sa listahan ay si Kurt Rayson ng Letran Knights. Kurt is Letran. Balik sa ating laban, Jello Razon navigating through a couple of screens, able to knock it down once he was free to shoot. And that time, he did not pass up on the shot. Oh, kasi kanina, nagdalawang easy pa siya, libre libre, yun naman yung tira niya. Yeah. Ba't ka pa nag-hesitate? Ikaw na yun, one, one, B, kumbaga, one B one na yun, it's either you make it, you miss it, and then, then Mark Denver will be there to get the rebound. Yeah. You might have a chance to get it again. Pero on that one, kinuha na niya, sinarili na niya. Four points for General Razon. Tans kang tayo! Yan ang mga catchers natin from Perpetual side. Alright. 2 and 40 to go. It's a 7-point lead for the Perpetual Altas. They're trying to do something that we're, they were not able to accomplish in their first round meeting, which was, of course, to close out the game strong. San Beda, though, we'll see if they still have a final push right here. Cortez. San Beda has only scored six points in the fourth quarter. They go to their leading scorer. Jacob attacks amongst the trees. He got smothered. Swarmed. Pinilid niya doon. Masyadong malalim inapuntahan ni Jacob. Sinalan siya si Mark Denver pero naandun sa likod itong si Pagaran to cover his shot and wala talaga. Hindi mo mga tatawagan ng foul eh. Yeah, hindi mo tatawagan. Kasi nakatayo lang yung dalawa. Ito na ang perpetual. We are entering deep waters, a.k.a. the final two minutes. Park Huma air mills it. So may chance pa dito ang San Beda. A minute and 53 remaining. And this you, is still a lot of basketball, kung, Big Bo. Kung ikaw naman yung perpetual, uh, very positive yung nangyari ng ngayon. Uh, Dahil you consume 24 seconds shot clock doon sa oras uh, natin. Yeah. Diba? And you are up by 7. That's right. Kung baga, managing the time ang kailangan mo dito. And playing good defense also. So that was still a positive for perpetual. Oo. Uh -huh. And dito naman, kailangan magmadali ng San Beda because they were down by 7. Andrada. Ito. They go to Jacob. Jacob against the big pull-up jumper. Switch for Jacob Cortez. He's got 22. 
The lead is down to five. A minute and a half left. Ito si Peter Pan, Barkuma. He will now set the table for the Altas. No Cyrus Nitura on the floor. Oh, dahil nga hindi rin magandang kissing ni Cyrus Nitura in this ball game. Ito, Pagaran. Oh, gets the bounce! Chris Pagaran with his 12th point of the game. Right on time para dito kay Chris Pagaran. Hinahanap natin yung office niya kanina dahil ito. Hopya, nakawala. Yun ang kinailangan ng San Beda doon. Yung mabilis ang atake na yun. Quick two. Binalik ni Coach Mike sa gigit itong si Cyrus Nitura for some veteran. Alam mo yung presence yun sa loob. 6055, nagpalit ng playmaker si Coach Mike. But ball is in the hands of Jello Razon. San Beda needs to pressure this ball, this the ball. Kasi pag inubos ito ng, ng perpetual, yeah. and then they were oh, down. Eto, Jello Razon. Razon! Left it short. San Beda needs to go quickly. Jacob lobbing it up. Puno with the catch. Puno! Cortez for three! Hello. No! Rebound Ayan. secured by Roque. And here comes Jello Razon. Razon wisely uh -huh. stopping and waits. For his teammates. Good presence of mind para dito kay Jello Razon. Uh, Dahil alam niya, pwede nang ilayap eh, pero yeah. the veteran he is, the captain ball lang itong perpetual na si Jello Razon eh, inilabas niya. Eto, night yeah. night na raw, night buhat, night buhat night pa ng mga kasama. Ay, nako po. Night night na raw para sa mga taga Las Piñas base. <laughs> okay. Time out muna tayo, 23. Takes left. At ayun nga po, nagbabalik na ang NCAA at nagbabalik na rin ang mga players dito sa dugout. Kaya naman ngayon, sa Super Sai, Gigi Kain, at gugulatin natin ang mga players dito sa Jose Rizal University o ang Jerry Heavy Bombers. So once again, this is Miki Santos. Ito ang dugout raid. At tara na! Okay, sino kaya ang una? Hello! Okay, saktang sakto. Saka mo sa naman, ang ginagawa? Dadaan si Coach. Ay, dadaan si Coach. Pero sige, hello Coach! Hello! We are in the final 23 seconds of this game. Perpetual 3-1 in the second round. Two straight wins, trying to make it three in a row. 4-1 in total dito sa ating second round. More importantly, with a win here, that enables them to stay alive in the final four race. Oo, yun na nga. And yung, alam mo yung nangyari dito sa ano natin, eh, bababa pa itong San Beda. And ito naman yung mga remaining games na wow. ni Coach Yuri and the San Beda Red Lions. Their next game is really tough. Yeah. Mapua, Woo. Vinil. They still have, uh, they still have Lyceum. Oh. You have JRU. Pero syempre, ito yung rivalry. Nung ano, eh, talagang, kumbaga yung veteran eh, manggugulo pa kami. Uh, yeah, that's hindi, right. Ano, hindi ibibigay ng veteran ng basta-basta sa San Beda yung Ball game na yun. You saw the record of Coach Yuri in the second round, one and three right now. All right, trigger man is Cyrus Nitura. Oh, nago, nago ni Yugen. Cortez, extra fine. Payosi with the finish. Easy deuce, quick deuce for the Red Lions. Sixteen point three, folks. This is not yet over. Mejo bini bini Mark Denver Omega yung ano don. Here's the pressure, Pagaran with the catch, and Perpetual breaks it. San Beda now needs to foul, they uh, foul Jun Roque. Okay. Medyo... Oh, but San Beda still not in the penalty. Not in the penalty. Uh, Ayun lang. So, Same scenario, they need to get a steal of this one. And para naman dito sa mga taga, sa, taga Perpetual, they need to get a good inbound. Kasi most likely they will foul. Uh -huh. San Beda will foul. A lot of good free throw shooters on this perpetual team. 11.2 left. Teka lang daw, sabi ni Coach Mike. Magbabalasa si Coach Mike na mga ipapasok niya rito dahil nga most likely, San Beda, if they get a good, the perpetual get a good inbound. That's right. They will foul. Kasi nga, wala na rin naman silang 
hindi na sila pwede mag-relay sa oras. Okay. A good sequence was what San Beda got mm -hmm. the previous play. Oh. Agaw ni Yukien. Ni Yukien and then they got an easy two. Yeah. Ah, ito. Ito yung mga Our upcoming games, games natin. Oh, uh, Saturday. EAC contra Arellano. Importante ito para oh, sa EAC. Oo, para sa EAC. <laughs> kasi 7-7 <seven, seven laughs> pa rin sila. Pwede pa. Ah, oh, kasi pag nanalo pa ang perpetual ngayon, they will get tied up with EAC yeah. at 7-7. Seven seven. So, kailangan umalagawan itong EAC sa ano. And Another team at, who needs to win. At 3 p.m., you have Letran and GRU. Yeah, you, It's gonna uh, be a physical ball game. Oh, for sure. For <laughs> sure. <Panigurado> to. <laughs> JRU mas kailangan ng panalo oh. because they're still in the final four race. So, bukas po yan. Again, first game, 9.30. Second game, 3 p.m. Pero, mga kapuso, hindi pa tayo tapos dito. A three-point lead held by Perpetual. 11.2 seconds remaining. San Beda not yet in the penalty. One more foul to give here. Habang itong Perpetual, only two team fouls so far. Uh -huh. so Pwede we'll gawin ng Perpetual. Pagbalik dito sa kabilang side, they can, have, they can uh, give a, a regular foul yeah. na not in the act of shooting. Kasi nga, they're, not, they're still not in the penalty. So, San Beda has two chances to steal this. Uh -huh. Ito, tapos foul sila, tapos yung kasunod. Bago sila makapunta sa penalty. Trigger man is Nitura. Nitura. Oh! Nice catch by Razon. Here's the quick foul. Given wow. up by Payosing. Medyo delikado Ooh. yung pahasa. Masigip din yun. Oh. Yeah. Di ba? Pero still, <laughs> good catch by uh, Jelo Razon. So that was the foul to give oh. for San Beda. Next one will put them in the, in the penalty, penalty and will put Perpetual at the free throw line. But for San Beda, you got another shot at a steal. Pag tinignan mo naman yung depensa ni Coach Yuri, tinignan mo, dalawang mahaba ang nas dito sa, <laughs> yeah. sa harap. Oy! Oy! Razon, nakawala! Muntik na, muntik na. They need to foul. Wala pa rin tinatawag. Oh. Muntik na yun. Uh -huh. Muntik na. Kung napakagaga itong si James Payosing, eh, uh, yeah. baka sakaling na steal niya yun. Jello Razon. <laughs> Wow! To the free throw line, he is 18 out of 23 in the season. Boss Anton Tamayo on your screens uh -huh. right now. His team close to making it three wins in a row. Razon shooting it at about 78.3% in the season. He's only missed five free throws. First one, in and out, and in again. Wow. <laughs> and that should put the game to bed. Kita mo yung relief. Talagang ano eh. Magaling na, swerte ka pa. Uh -huh. At talagang hindi mo na alam. Wait lang, may i-review itong mga referee natin dito. Sige. Ano kaya yun? Huh. 4.9. Mm -hmm. Is it the clock? Pwede. Oo, oh, pwede, pwede. Kasi tinititingnan nila kung ilang, ilang segundo pa ang natitira nung uh -huh. final si Jello Razon. Kasi kanong ano, may initial na foul take itong San Bede. Mm -hmm. diba? Hindi tinawagan ka agad. Doon sa second contact, sa nga tinawagan ng foul. Oh. Hindi kasi masyadong clear yung, yung foul ni Hopia. Eh. Oh, oh, yung yeah. foul ni Hopia kay Jello Razon. Kaya nakapag-dribble pa siya. Okay. Consume like 3, 3, 4 more seconds dun sa ano. So they added 8 tenths of a second, making our game clock... 5.7 seconds. Ang kagandahan dito sa Perpetual, they still have a foul to give. Uh, marami Ayaw. pa. Razon missing the second. San Beda's got to go. Ay, they nakaka. need to go quickly. Razon giving uh -huh. up the foul. Uh -huh. Good recognition para dito kay Jello Razon. Na, alam nilang, they're, not, they're still not in the penalty so they can still give a foul. Yeah. E kung San Beda to, again, the three seconds remaining. You may be, or you may only have a second and a half to shoot it. They will review it. Wow, okay. So we'll see if this will be upgraded wow. to an unsportsmanlike foul. Okay, this will change the complexion oh, of this game. Oh. If ever, the upgrade nila to. Oh, kasi two, two free throws shots, two plus, free possession. Throws plus ball possession. Okay. If they get it, they might have a... Diba, if they get the unsportsmanlike foul, 
They can even win the game. Oh, yeah, exactly. Right? With the three. With the three. Correct. Two free throws by Jacob. Overtime or. Diba? <laughs> Pero. Okay. Ayun. Okay. Kasi meron tayo, meron tayo dito sa sa mga sa mga ano natin oh. sa sa rules natin dito sa NCAA. Yung alam mo yung excessive contact. Oh. Even if you were going for the ball, pero pagka yung tama mo is alam mo yung so napasobra. Oh. They will call an unsportsman like foul. So yun yung iingatan ngayon ng perpetual. Lalo sa mga moments na ganito oh, na talagang kasi, may adrenaline, ano? Oh, then yeah. yung 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 intention mo to give a foul dahil oh. na wala pa kayo sa penalty, pero napalakas. Okay. May iging problema, pwede mag two two shots because of unsportsman like foul. Tapos inbound pa ng bo- bola pa ng San Beda. <laughs> Anong nangyari pala doon Big Bo? Dinagdagan yung oras. Ah, Again, 8 okay. tenths of a second. So, one timeout remaining. Or no timeouts pala. Wala, wala. One foul to give rather for uh-huh. Perpetual. With San Beda already in the penalty. So, yun na yung huling timeout ni Coach Yuri Escueta. Burning it with 3.8 seconds left. Huh. Okay. Again, Perpetual trying to exact revenge on San Beda here, their first round tormentors. We'll see though. Tatlong segundo. Nakalabi sa ating naban. 3.8 ticks left. Second round action for you guys. <laughs> Sabi namin sa inyo, first round, patigil pa lang yan. Yung simula pa lang. Second round, ito na yung, round, na ito na yung main course na yeah. main course ng ating meal. Yeah. Diba? Kung baga, pinasabik lang tayo ng perpetual, pero dito, they have a they have, they have a good chance. Here we go. San Beda has the wrong. They need to go quickly. Alparo, their captain, is the trigger man. Aliyup! Uy, hindi tinira! Corner shot! Andrada misses, Ayaw. and that's all she wrote. Perpetual makes it three wins in a row. And they exact revenge on the San Beda Red Lions here in their second round encounter. They outlast San Beda 61 to 57, getting an important win and staying alive in the final four race. What a ball game, big ball. Oh my, as we as we expected, because uh-huh. both both of these teams are really eyeing for a final four spot. So, what? Hindi di talaga magtatambakan eh. Okay. Tulad ng pin ini expect natin kanina pa sa pro room. Eh. Talagang it's gonna be a, a matter of one basket, mm-hmm. two basket lang ang magiging ano nito ano. And I expect pang natin mag over to. Oh, <laughs> diba? that's right. <laughs> Yung lang expectation natin kasi nga ano to eh. Talagang chances are still in their hands. Yeah. Sasamahan lang ng konting dasal. Yun lang eh. But just like their first meeting, another low-scoring affair mm-hmm. between these two teams. 61 to 57 in the final score. Perpetual though, able to secure it. 